Hello, everybody, and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're playing Europe today. It's a map. Well, Europe, a better map. It's a map by Wolf Trekker, I believe. Yes, I, I have it written down as Wolf Trekker. Uh, and our goal is to find out where, when, why, and how. And it looks like we're in the Netherlands. Yellow license plate. Yellow license plate. Makes sense. We have the double white line with the white dashes on the side. We have the Dutch language from what I can tell. That's not Europe. So we're somewhere in the Netherlands. Now, where in the Netherlands? You, you've you got me fucked up. If you think I know exactly where we are. We might be able to. We should probably use those signs that we're, we're completely ignoring. Because they're pointing to like seven different towns. I was looking maybe to see if we're coastal. Let's see. We have, slowly but surely, N310 Epe, which is way down here. So definitely not the Nigerian Epe. I didn't actually know there was gonna be an Epe anywhere else. Uh, we have Zwoll, which is right here. That is looking like it's to our west. We have Amersfoort, which is right here, which is also to our west. Epe, here's Ede, uh, not quite the same. And then Elspeet, here's Epe, which is to our west on 310. Is A50 310? No, it's 28. So we have Epe, we have Zwoll, we have Amersfoort, but where's Elspeet? E-L-S-P-E-E-T. I don't see that one. Out of all the ones, that's the one I don't see. And I'm thinking because it's the top one on the sign, it's probably the one we're closest to. But why would Epe be here? Unless we're in between these. Epe is here. And the other one should be nearby. Here's Airbeak. Camping. Well, we're close to Epe. We know that. Airbeak, Zuften, Snippling, Recipe. Why does that sound like a recipe with a lisp? I'm not seeing it. The only one we can't find is the one we're probably in. I wonder how far south it is from us. Keep it near Epe. We should be fine, but that's assuming that we read this correctly. Ends up being nine miles to our northwest. I still don't see the town on that sign. It's got to be either incredibly small or it just doesn't exist. But nine miles, that's a really good score. Looks like Tresman and Martin did get the same area. Carl's got the same area. They probably, they guessed 310. That that's, makes sense. We should have actually paid attention and gone over by 310. Here's Else Pete. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That does make sense. I don't know how we didn't see that. But we should have, we should have guessed near 310. We went by 309 and 850 for, for no good fucking reason. Gen 2 coverage feels the UK. Maybe a weird Scotland? Let's see real quick. Yellow, yellow, white, it's the UK. Uh, if those backs were white, we could get away with Ireland. There's no way this is anywhere but the UK, Ireland. And with the license plates, we know it has to be the UK. The Gen 2 coverage doesn't necessarily help us. But it doesn't necessarily hurt us. Uh, we do have the stone walls on both sides, which can be seen in Wales, can be seen in the UK, can be seen in Scotland. We have language, Castle Douglas, Dumfries, and... So we're going this way. Kirk Gunzion. Doesn't sound Welsh. I'll say that much. Uh, we are on seven, red seven. Where the fuck are we going? I don't know where Red 7 is going to be. It's going to be a stupid fucking group of islands. Sheetland. Fuck Sheetland. Where would Red 7 be? I've never seen a red number 
It might just be a bike only path. But that wouldn't make too much sense to me. We have... Not what we want to see. And not what we want to see. Uh, you can use phone numbers in the UK really easily to figure out where you are. Dumb freeze. Why does dumb freeze sound fucking familiar? Like, it, I think I've seen it before, and I think I've made fun of their name before. Or if I haven't, it's definitely a name I would make fun of, which is why it seems so fucking familiar. Dumb freeze. There's a lot of duns, but not a lot of dumbs. D-U-N, not D-U-M. So I'm wondering if that means we're not going to be where we think we are. I don't think it's Welsh because the Welsh language just doesn't make sense to begin with. And this kind of makes sense. Fuck. See, being an American, you miss out on some of the subtleties, especially that you would learn growing up in the UK. Like, all right. When it ends in ES, I forget. It, it, there's some stupid fucking ending. When it ends in a stupid fucking ending, it means that the Norse took over at one point. And the Norse only made it so far south. Well, you know what? I'm sure you guys learned about that in UK history, right? Like, oh, the Norse only made it down to Leeds, for example. Well, guess what? I don't know that shit. Because I learned about the Revolutionary War where the Americans kicked the British's ass. Shots fucking fired. Regardless, we didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Ah, uh, it does end up being Scotland. It does end up being a little bit further south. Here's the town of Dumfries, which is large enough that we missed it because the United Kingdom needed a bigger fucking name. Fuck that shit. Tin gets best guess, finds Dumfries, knows where it is, throws it on down. Why did we find a Red 7 if a Red 7 doesn't fucking exist? This is old military road. Me, well, technically it's this road. But it showed us... Nah. I think this is where we found it. The A7. So what does that A7 mean? And why does it fucking suck? <sighs> I'm not even going to bother. This is Ari. I think it's one of the Aries at least. Done. Move on. Azimuth knows exactly where it is. I didn't give enough care to try and figure it out. Gen 2 coverage in a forested nation. And we can't go that way. Uh, Slovenia is the most forested nation in... Are you fucking kidding me? We got broken coverage right here. I want to pull out my hair. I want to pull out my hair. I guess we're going Slovenia. There's nothing we could do about that. It It's literally, that's the coverage that exists here. That's the coverage that exists. We do have a Croatian car. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, I know a lot of the valleys are up north. What the fuck, man? Not only do we get an Ari, the Ari, but we get broken coverage in Germany. It's a long antenna. Fuck it. Fuck it. No, it's not Croatian car. Whatever. I didn't care enough after, after two fucking terrible occasions. We haven't played this map in a very long time. It doesn't look like it's been updated in a very long time either. Um, we... Yeah, it's clear. It's clear when we got that Finland location and then the broken Germany that I don't think we're going to play this map until Wolf Tracker updates it. So Wolf Tracker, if you're watching, can you please update this map? I believe Pizza Guy unpublished his. I don't really know any other good EU maps. There might be one by... I know there's the European Union map. That's not a Europe map. Uh, we need more locations... We need not broken locations. We need no Aries. Fuck Ari. Fuck every Ari that ever existed. We're not even last. What the fuck? Azimuth in first, 20,085. 
KMI Jacques in second, 19292. Verdun in third, 19156. Tin in fourth, 18,000. Carl's in fifth at 17,5. We gave up, so we're in sixth at 14. Seven minutes, yeah. I mean, some people have had quicker times than us, but quick downhill real fast. Sixth, not bad. Screens of the World in seventh at 13,390. And Tresmond in eighth at 11,321. Demotivated, demotivated. Sometimes that happens, you know, when when you get a map that you want to be good, and then you get some pretty terrible locations. It's nothing on Wolf Tracker. It's probably updated coverage. So there's nothing you can really do about that. But a broken road in the forest. That sucks. Uh, we should have paid attention a little bit more in that Croatia. Lo well, not the Croatia location, the Latvia location. I'm sure if we would have actually paid attention, we would have been able to figure it out. We would have looked at bollards. We would have looked at telephone poles. But, yeah, we didn't. We didn't. And that's our fault. Uh, but that's going to be our call for the day. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed. We will be back again on stream tomorrow, Thursday, at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll have another YouTube video for you guys on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. But I look forward to seeing you guys all then. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. And bye-bye.